Hi, I want to share with you my ideas for the fireworks project and show which of them I implemented in the latest release. First, I would like to make the editor more comfortable. It is now a plain text editor and you have to know the script language to create your own shows. It should be usable by as many people as possible, so it should be a real UI and, to use a German phrase, clicky bunti. Right now, you can only use three slots to save your scripts to. I want a possibility to save or download your fireworks as a file on your PC. When you are editing a later part of your show, right now you would have to watch the whole show that comes before that part to test it. I want you to be able to jump right to the position you are editing. The random mode doesn't look good because it's well, it's too random. I want it to look better. And then we need more firework types. We need more effects. Stuff that rains, splits, spins, floats and explodes in the shape of letters or numbers. So first I changed the random mode. The rockets already look good, but the positions and appearance of the fountains was too random. So I created some fixed patterns and timings, and these now run in an endless loop. Then I created lots of new fireworks. First a new effect for the rocket. You can now tell the rocket which effect to use when exploding. Default is still the normal explosion, but when you use glitter you will get the sparkly rain. I created special color ramps and a hue variation curve and then duplicated the particles node in code four times with a little offset in time. Since the effect of the rocket was already configurable, I could add another effect. When you choose Effect Cluster, the rocket will split into seven small bodies and explode a short while later. These clusters use the default explosion scene. You can choose the time until the clusters themselves explode and the color. If you don't choose a color, every cluster will have a random color. Then I wanted to create a spinning wheel and that's where I had a problem. I was programmatically setting the velocity direction and the position of the particle source. But it looked somehow wrong. So I commented out the direction and saw it. The particles were moving with the moving particle source. I had to switch local chords off to fix that. After that, I could comment the direction back in. Some fine tuning and adding some additional boosters later, it looked like this. You can set the position, height, size, lifetime and number of boosters of the wheel. So there are really many options.
the flare is like a fountain, but it shoots up larger single particles, well more like duo particles because that looked better. You can choose lifetime and size. If you choose a color, all particles are the same. If not, every shot has a random color. Okay, so I improved the random mode and added effects. Now that this is off the list, these remain open. Especially the letter number effect appears to me very much. But there are also new ideas. I am thinking of these little propeller-like wheels with boosters. You light them, then they start to spin and spiral into the air. If you know the name for them, please put it in the comments. Spinning flying thingy doesn't look very good on the to-do list. Then I am thinking of two rockets that spiral around each other. I don't think this exists in reality, but it would be a nice addition to the program. I'm not satisfied with the glitter effect. And I don't like the sound of the flare. And last but not least, the random mode contains only rockets and fountains. It needs all these new effects. I hope you enjoyed this devlog. If you like to try the fireworks for yourself, check it out on HIO. I put the link in the description. If you have suggestions what to add to the program or how to improve my devlogs, please let me know in the comments. I'm looking forward for your feedback. Thanks and goodbye.